Hi, hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I have the long-awaited video for you guys on my first impressions on Bless Online. Now, before I fully go into this video, I want to state some disclaimers. Uh, number one, I'm not at max level. And number two, I can't actually stream this game in game capture right now because I'd have to restart a couple clients. So this is going to be in window capture. It would look a little bit better in game capture. Um, so first off to state is um, I'm going to say something right off the bat of I personally would not recommend this game in the current state. And the reason why I say that is because of all of kind of like the issues that a lot of MMOs have at launch. Um, where basically they have fixed a lot of it with like lag issues and everything else. But simply put on the honest side, performance wises have been a little bit bad. Um, the map, there's not much direction as to where to go. There isn't too, in terms of end game, right? Um, a lot of bugs are happening with dungeons right now. There was a few dupes happening. There's basically, the game is in a test state and they've explained that the game is in early access. What early access means for people who don't understand is that um, the combat system in the game from the Japanese servers, if anyone is familiar, has been completely redone, right? You don't simply have your skills on normal bars now, it's completely redone. So the way it essentially works is you pick two stances out of your four. Um, from those stances, you can customize left or right. Usually it's like, for example, for my class, it would be like anger increase, which is rage and or damage. And then there's a couple other things. Then you have your regular skills, which go on your four through seven bar. These can be customized one of three ways. And then you have abilities, which are passives, which are actually really overpowered right now since the flat scaling is so insane compared to what we don't normally have. Like I remember when I spec this node at like level 10, it like doubled my HP, for example. Um, but anyway, I wanna talk about things that I'm excited about for the game and I'll show you guys a little bit of combat, but it's basically gonna be me like instantly killing things. So some things about Bless Online that I'm excited for and really wanna check out in pretty much one week to two, well, three months is the community feedback of the game, like the developer feedback in general has been phenomenal so far. Uh, they've had a very rocky launch and as explained with all the bugs and everything, they offered a free refund to everyone on Steam who didn't really enjoy the game. Um, the reason why I'm so happy about that is because it really shows that they understood that they didn't have, well, their launch didn't go as expected. And since it didn't go as expected, they truly did offer a refund to pretty much everybody. Um, but they've stated that in one to two weeks, they'll be doing um, a lot of bug fixing. They'll be adding in the content that hasn't been added in. Um, so there will be the some of the 45 dungeon content. I believe they're doing something with the PvP that's coming out. And they'll slowly be adding in the content as we go. And three months from now, we will have the first official, I think, patch, which will come with the Assassin class and a bunch of other stuff, right? So essentially speaking, in the three month period that Bless is going to be out is when all the good stuff is gonna happen. Um, and that's pretty much entirely up to the development of you know the game. I can't confirm that, I can't promise you that, but based off of this three month period, this is probably going to be one of the best times to play Bless if you're curious. So I recommend just checking it out for yourself, wait a couple days, wait the one to two weeks, see how the game is going, and then at that point really see if the game is for you. Um, so just to show you guys a little bit of the combat, again, I can't really show you too much right now. Uh, let me actually turn this on. So Berserker is the only class with action, action targeting right now, which basically means if I were to look at this guy in attack, it's gonna hit in front of me, and then vice versa, in front again, and then in front again. And that feels really smooth to me. Um, but I will say that with this action targeting comes some some issues. Uh, if you notice, like I'm lagging a little bit right now, and that's mainly just because I'm streaming and recording at the same time. But the problem is, oh, actually here's someone in PVP. Is he is he mad? Here, so here's the problem with PVP right now, right? I'll show you. So I'm gonna hit this guy. Okay, so. You know he dodged that? He's, he's AFK, but if you notice, oh actually he's immune. He's here, boys. He's gonna outplay me. Okay, so here, here's the problem with PvP. You see how he just ran away? I have nothing I can do to catch him. I can't catch him now. So this is where I meant by the game is currently in like an early access. The combat has not fully been tested yet. There's, there's nothing as a Berserker, for example, that I can do. I don't have a gap closer unless I'm on another stance. I can't use any of my skills for mobility because they require rage and I can't generate it. But again, these are the things that I want to show people that require to be tested because 
that does take some time. Now he's probably gonna come out here and like insta wombo combo me, but sh we're gonna pretend like we don't see him. Oh, I see you, buddy. I s come here. I can't catch him. Help! There's nothing. I I come here. He's so close, but. I Okay, wait, I'm not in combat right now. Maybe if I set auto run. Okay, hold on, hold on. I got this. Oh. Oh wait, he lagged. I should have I should have used that to He has a movement speed buff? How did he do that? Oh, whoops, wrong button. Did he is he still here? Oh, he popped his anti Wow, he actually bought that from the cash shop and used it as I was chasing him. You can see the 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 uh <laughs> There, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. So what what I would like to see from the game Oh, and this guy doesn't see me. What I would like to see from the game is like a rework Not a rework, but basically a rebalance of the burst. So it's not nearly as bursty Hold on. Hold on. I can't catch him. He's on a mount. I'm coming for you, buddy. Hold on. We're gonna get him boys We're gonna get him. We're gonna get him Where's he at? Did he channel change? He fucking channel changed. I'm gonna find him boys I'm gonna find him I really need to like change one of my specs around for PvP, but that's not gonna happen. But anyway, what I was explaining about the PvP, um, something that I don't really like is like I said with the lag, the problem the problem that happens with lag when you're playing with like true action combat is um, is say I'm trying to like move around the guy because you're not gonna stand still in PvP, right? If I drop to like 40 FPS or 30 FPS, I have to be so fucking precise with where I'm aiming because I literally have to be directly in front of the person like this right to try to hit them and um that can be really 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 odd so that's why i've kind of like kind of just fucking used aoe's to kind of pvp and i'm sure that'll all be balanced and stuff but again kind of reasons why if you like stuff like that you like insta giving people on pvp and getting one shot then you could you know definitely check it out right now uh, but to explain some other things about the game that i'm pretty curious about is like the crafting methods right so the crafting in the game is is pretty big um, that's actually what I'm pretty much doing right now. I'm, I'm running around looking for things to gather, but I can't really find them at the moment. I'm looking for these things called turbans. Uh, but in terms of crafting, I don't know how to actually bring up the team. How do we bring up crafting again? What's the button? Is it J? I don't know. P. Oh, actually, it's in life, right? Okay, so you can pick you can pick one main profession and one sub profession. So I've picked enchanting and cooking. Uh, I believe there's also armor smithing, jewel crafting under mains. And then sub, there is alchemy and cooking. Um, and the way these work is you actually go up in tier as you level them and you do get bonuses. So if you look here, this is master enchanting. This is, you know, all the way, all the way at max at grandmaster. And you can see all of the buffs you get. So fortunately and unfortunately, um, armor smithing gives physical defense, I think. Enchanting gives vitality and jewel crafting gives attack power. That does kind of almost force you into picking a profession um but at the same time certain classes can be like hybrid so like as a berserker i do have the ability to tank at least from what i've noticed uh maybe not in pvp so i picked uh vitality for maximum health scaling for my heals to do more and maybe for like better sustain so that was kind of cool to think of um there is this party option finder thing i don't okay over here under party effects you can actually get like crazy buffs for being in parties I, I honestly don't really like this very much because it's kind of annoying because if someone were to disconnect right now Then these party buffs would go off. I think this. Oh, no, he's not disconnected But if someone were to disconnect we'd have to like reinvite them go through the party system select off remove reapply So that's kind of quirky. There's a lot of like really quirky things going on But overall, I mean th the game has a nice template I feel like it really does have a nice template, but it truly feels like an early access game. So make sure that you are aware of that if you're going to purchase your way into the game. Anyway, I'm sorry I couldn't really show you guys too much content or too much footage. Like I said, there's not really too much for me to show you unless you want to want me to go like level up. Um, I will probably be posting some like dungeon runs once I can find some dungeon runs. That'll be uploaded. Uh, and then, you know, depending on how... how or, uh, how interested you guys are I could show you guys like my specs and like rotations and stuff like that But we'll see like how long the game goes on um, And how much attention it really seeks. So anyway, that's pretty much about it Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care everybody